Hi, this is Bill Kirk with the Peak Fly Shop. I'm over here with flyskins.com tonight tying up a new fly created by the inventor Mr. Jonathan Kiley of flyskins.com. Um, this fly is going to utilize a TMC 300 size 8 for the hook. We're going to utilize UTC in dark brown 140. We'll also be utilizing some of Jonathan's fish fins and mottled rust. For dubbing, we'll dub with STS Trilobal Brown Stone. We'll also utilize a Pine Squirrel Zonker and Rust. A rib of medium hot orange. And last but not least, we'll finish it off with a Sculpin Helmet in Brown. All right, let's get started. I'm just going to start right back here at the hook point with my thread. Go ahead and get a little thread base laid all the way back. Come forward, put a little dubbing in here. And this dubbing just gives the place for the, the fish fins the tail of the fish fins to to rest up against and makes a, makes for a good tying point. So we're just gonna put just a little bit of dubbing back here. And this helps hold the fin away from the, the hook and give it some good good action in the water. If you haven't seen these fins in the water uh, Go on over to Jonathan's website, um, flyskins.com, and, and have a look at one of the videos on the swimming action. Here's the tail. These fins come in, uh, come all together. I should have shown you this before I cut it off. They look like this. I just cut the tail off. What I'll do is, is I'll tie that in right about there. I'll make one nice loose wrap. I'll pull the tab forward. I'll start making some wraps over that. Make sure it's where I want it. And now I'll go ahead and just crank that down. Get some good tight wraps in there. Get my uh, orange wire in here, hot orange wire. This is going to be used for a rib. I'll just go ahead and tie that in. Put a few thread wraps over this. Now we're ready to dub this body. Stray Lobel is actually some pretty good stuff to work with. It's uh, the first fly that I've ever really utilized this piece of uh, material on. Been pretty impressed with it. And we'll be tying more flies with Tri Lobel. We're going to dub this up to about the 60% point of this hook. Build a nice big body in there. I don't mind a few loose stragglers of dubbing on here. It just helps to make it look a little buggier. In fact, um, you could, once you're done, if you wanted, uh, come back with a, a brush and brush this dubbing out and get a few more spikes even. Just about there. Just a bit more dubbing in here.
All right. I'm just gonna throw a small whip finish in there because now I'm gonna actually flip this fly over so I can work on the underneath side from here on out. Next thing we want to do is put our um, rabbit zonker in there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel some of the hair off the top of this so I have a, a good tie-in point. I'm going to measure that, cut it off just just short of the, the hook point there. wrap in there and now we'll tighten that down go ahead and get a few wraps of this wire going stop it there I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on the underneath side of that zonker and I'll press it down on top of the dubbing Probably not something you absolutely have to do. And then uh, get some hair separated here. Put a put a wrap of wire in there. Get another one, another wrap. This wire, the, the super glue, just adds a, a bit of durability and probably a bit of overkill, but don't want don't want a big old brown to come in and grab this thing and make off with it and only get one uh, one fish out of the fly. Got my wire up here. Put a few wraps in there to finish that off. I'll just get in there and helicopter this. All right. Now we're ready for the small fins. I'll cut those in half. So you can see the, the shape of the, the fin itself. I'm going to put the, the smaller side up. I'll use the tab on this again to, as a tie-in point. Make a few loose wraps and get that one where I want it. Make sure that uh, I get this one tied in the exact same way with the small side up. And I'll hold back here in the back against it so I can ensure the fins are as even as possible. Go ahead and get those wrapped in there. Build up a little bit of a thread base in there. Those look real good. I'll come back in here now with some dubbing. We'll finish off this head area, thorax area. finish in here. I'm going to go come back and cover that with glue as I put the sculpin helmet on there. Take that out, flip it over, get a little glue around that edge just to help hold that sculpin head on. Take that helmet Work it right over the top. There we go. On there forever and ever. 
And there you have Jonathan Kiley's uh, latest creation. This is called the, uh, the Scubber. Um, again, not quite sure how he came up with that name, and uh, I don't know that I ever want to know how uh, Mr. Kiley's brain works. All I know is, is that uh, he creates some very, very cool products. Um, these, uh, these fish fins look absolutely fantastic. Um, many uses besides uh, sculpins and these little patterns. Um, go out, have a look at flyskins.com and, and gather up some additional ideas. Thank you very much.